Hey everybody, this is Dispatches from Myrtle Beach with my son Link from Good Mythical Morning. It's good to be back with y'all. Hey son, how you doing? I'm doing great. As Tony the Tiger would say, great, Dad. It's good to see you. That mullet's still looking good. Oh, I went and got it cut this morning so it'd be fresh looking. And I, I like how it's really touching the um, your shoulders now. Oh, yeah. Yes. So you got it cut this Nancy. morning, but you did not get the mullet, the back curtain cut. Oh, no, I didn't get the back cut. That's no. good. That's good. That's good. I don't know if you notice. Maybe take a look at my hair. I recently yeah, I had a haircut. I mean, yeah. Look at, yeah. you see this? I I just yeah. couldn't resist. I had to maybe start to flirt with the mullet myself, Dad. What do you think? Yeah. Look at well, this. I think it looks looks pretty darn good. Yeah. See it? I'm look, I, can, I can feather it out for you so you can really see it. Oh, I see it. I see it. Yeah. Christy yeah. absolutely yeah. loves it. Nancy liked mine when I come in the door too. I, so that's the main thing. Well, I'm I was telling. I was I was actually being a little facetious, Dad. Oh, well, Nancy did like ours, mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I just, you know, it's just fun. It's a fun thing. And I'm like, if I'm going to push you to mulletize and, and you've, gone so, you've gone all in on it, I could at least flirt with the mullet as a, as a sign of solidarity. That would be, yeah. You're just inspiring me once again, Dad, to uh, up my hair game. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. Got a little. Got a little bit of that mullet. I, you know, if uh, if Christy's not happy, yeah. you better be doubly happy. I'm doubly happy. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's so there's so much new today. Like I I mean, what's that behind you? Well, I gotta ask. You you, you notice anything behind me here? Exactly. Yeah. It it looks like you're standing on top of a. The water tower, a water tower overlooking Myrtle Beach. Is that what no, that is? I'm just, I'm just, kind of, I'm gonna move over and let you see. Oh, you were, you're, you're right there on the dune. That's right. Yeah, we on, we, we, we filming from the beach. What is it? Is it a painting? Oh, yes, it's a, I guess. It's on one of them canvas things. It's five foot long and about four foot tall or something like that. It's so you can't see did, anything in this room. But did you the, paint it? But oh no, <laughs> no. So hey, that was Logan and some of your people that took care of all that. <laughs> oh, all you, I didn't paint. See, you're doing what I yeah. do. You just come up with ideas and just start pointing Delegate. and, and yeah. just like throwing opinions out. That's good, Dad. That's right. That's the way to do it. Yeah, Leave the heavy lifting to turned out others. Great. Hey, the next time we might turn it around, it's got a beautiful sunset on the back of it. What? Oh, yeah. I love that. You're. It's like you're right there on the beach. We might have to start putting in some seagull sounds. <laughs> yeah. All right. I love it. I love it. You're totally, literally in your element. Now, yeah. giving yeah. me a dispatch what? from the beach. So what you want to talk about? What you want to do? Well, we uh, we got I know we got several things we can talk about, but you know, me and Nancy's been on a trip up to uh Yes, you're back from Connecticut. Vermont. 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 Yeah. Well, hold, on, I, Connecticut. hold on. I thought it was Connecticut. No. I you said for my birthday, I want to go to Connecticut. And I, I thought it was Vermont. Hey, hey, we listen. We went to the Northeast, and uh, but we went to Vermont, and we went to Montreal, Canada, and then we turned around and went to Niagara Falls. So you were never planning to go to Connecticut. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no, you did think so. Is it? That's what you told me. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think so. We may have to get the tape out and look at that again just to make yeah. sure that that. <laughs> I think we might. Do that Roll the tape, like Logan. 
I think we get back on my birthday, but we're going to Connecticut for a week and going up there sightseeing. It was Connecticut, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so now whatever. Uh, but we don't you hey, hate. don't you whatever me. That oh man, that that makes my blood boil. Don't you? I'm right. It's like that's what uh, hey, Christy will do that to me when I'm right. I know I'm right about something, and then she's like, "Well, whatever." I'm like, "No, it's not whatever. It's you're you're right, and I was I'm I was wrong." Well, only thing is, I didn't go to Connecticut. I went to Vermont, so whatever. It was northeast. Hey. <laughs> It was some beautiful country up there. So, See, okay. And, well, you, so I want to hear all about that. But let me just tell you, I also want to talk to you about, I mean, I, I can tell you about my birthday because I know I was going to tell you about that. And then Lincoln graduated from high oh, school. Yeah, that, <clears throat> and I, you know, I want to, I want to talk about that. Um, and then uh, I, guess, I guess that'll be plenty. Is there any other update? Any other thing you want to know about? Any other thing you want to share? Oh yeah, Lanky, is that a is that a string hanging out from your shirt on your arm, or you getting a tattoo or something? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a string. Check it out. <laughs> Look at this. Can't, well, yeah. I gotta oh. Put the Look at that, Dad. It's just look at that string going up my arm. It's a, yeah, that. that what do you think, Dad? I got a new... I, oh, I'm, it's all up there on your shoulder and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's a... Yeah, um, a Christy and I collaborated on a tattoo design, and it's a, um, it's a... It's a plant. It's a house plant tattoo. Pretty okay. cool, huh? What you think? So you got to go back and get the colors put in it and all that stuff? Yeah, it, um, a, a number of these plants are in our house, and you know how much Christy loves house plants. Oh yeah, um, it's like Nance. So I was like, yeah. I really wanted to, I really wanted to start on a sleeve, but I, I, you know, unlike the mullet, which can go away, this, what I'm told right. is that this doesn't go away. No, that don't go away. So I wanted to make sure that Christy and I were both excited about whatever I did. So I was like, let's, let's, um. Let's do something we both love. I love you, and I love your love for house plants, and I love what it does for our, you know, our, our vibe at home. And um, so then she and she was excited about it. So it was like a fun little project for us. And then he, uh, uh, it took six hours just to do the outline. And then I'm going to go back huh. in July and do the um, like fill parts of it in in different ways. So I'm pretty excited. About yeah. It. And then I, I've still got I still got some room here for some other stuff. Oh, okay. Did you ever All think right. that I would be that I would be doing this? Mm. Getting this much of a hey, tattoo? It don't it doesn't really surprise me. I mean, <clears throat> with all all the stuff that you've done in your life and all the the way <laughs> your and Rhett show's gone and everything, it, it really don't surprise me that you got one, but Nothing surprises you. But I'm not getting a tattoo. We ain't going there. Oh, that's what you, you thought that was coming next. All right. No, I'll, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to get that out of the bag right to start with. What yeah. if we got matching? We got we could get something little and matching. Just just uh, think just think about it. Something little and matching. You know, like for a friendship father-son tattoo thing. Oh, you know, I'm just just throwing it out there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I like you throwing it, cutting me off at the pass. That that ain't gonna that ain't gonna work as well as the mullet. So, you know? so we'll just you, okay. You just keep you just keep on me about it, and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> and then, <laughs> you know, I'm going to. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, I I didn't even have that idea until you told me that you didn't want to do it. Don't tell me that didn't run through your mind. That was more than be the next thing coming up. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. true. That's true. So tell me all about Connecticut. Well, wherever we went, it, it was nice and a lot, lot of mountains and green trees. And but you drove there. Drove. And how, how, I mean, how far are you driving? 
just up there was 926 miles. Okay. So the, the day we left, we drove up through and went to Pennsylvania, and we went to Gettysburg and stayed there about three hours and looked around at all that history up there, and then we drove part of the way and got a motel room, and then the next day we drove all the way on Saturday to uh, Smuggler's Resort in Vermont. I like how you say Vermont, Dad. Vermont. You got to emphasize the ver. Is that how they say it up there? Welcome to Vermont. Uh, No, I think that they said Vermont. Right. They emphasize the mont, I think, but yeah. don't don't you do it. Uh, we went and tried to walk up the highest mountain in Vermont, and we made it halfway because we made it about two okay. miles and three tenths, and it was still two miles. And you know, Nancy had had her surgery, and I was tired. And, and good God, Link, I ain't never seen like the biggest mosquitoes in all my life. Really? About halfway up, until we got about halfway up the mountain, they was about to eat us up when we got out of the pickup. <clears throat> but we didn't make it all the way, so we we come on back down the mountain, and then we oh we had to we had to go home and rest. So. <laughs> well, I mean, you you have these ambitious ideas. Why you? Yeah, like Nancy had her gallbladder removed. But three weeks before that, yep. <laughs> and oh, yeah, you gotta. Well, I I love I love how adventurous you two are, but you got you know you you know your limits by reaching your limit, and just as long as you're safe. Like I don't want you having to tumble down a mountain. Or, I don't want to. I don't want any airlift stories. It's not. It's not worth it. I'm going on record. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear about you being airlifted off of anything. Oh no, I don't want to be airlifted off of. You ain't got to worry about that. I ain't going unless something happens somewhere else. But did you take did you take Gypsy, your dog? Yep, took Gypsy with us. So it's beautiful up there. We stopped at a hamburger and hot dog joint, Logan. I can't remember the name of it, but I, you probably got that picture. Yeah, I'll put the picture. But up. we stopped there, and I got out of the pickup, and I was probably twenty yards from where you walk up and order and where you park at. Uh-huh. And when I when I walked up to place my order, this guy named Jimmy said, I, and I didn't have a shirt on or nothing, he says, I know who you are and I watch your podcast all the time. Yes. And he said, I, I saw you when you got out of the truck and knew who you were. <laughs> he said, I, I'm going to take care of you. And he did. And he, Isn't it wild? I mean, it's just... Does it still hit you? And it's just like you're just going on a trip. You just you show up for gas anywhere. You could be in Canada. You could be I don't know where. You could be at a hot dog stand in the middle of nowhere, and like somebody's gonna recognize you. That's wild, isn't it? And then there was a girl sitting there with her children. I forgot to tell Logan this, but a girl sitting there with her children, and she, and I really think she thought I was you, because <laughs> all she would talk about was Good Mythical Morning. And uh, <laughs> it's like, man, he's wheel. a little. That's definitely him, but he's a little yeah. older in person. Yeah. Man, they must do some sort of. But anyway, she she just carried on. And when we were getting ready to leave, she come running out to the pickup, and she said, "Can I roll the roulette wheel with you and take a picture?" And I said, "Oh yeah, go ahead." So, <laughs> so <laughs> okay, yeah. I st- and I didn't never, I, I didn't never say, but well, you know, you know, I'm Link's dad or nothing. I just. <laughs> I just went with the flow and let her have a have her moment in time with, you know. You think she is, so. thought you were me? I uh, just don't. I don't know how to respond to that. But okay, yeah, I'm I with mean, you on this. We could, she, we're twins, man. Yeah, I don't know, but I I don't see how she thought it either. Because uh, look at this, look at this. What kind of twins? We do look. Like, I mean, take the class. We kind of favor a little bit. We so. do kind of favor a little bit. <laughs> This episode is sponsored by HelloFresh. Ready for summertime? HelloFresh delivers mouth-watering, 
chef-crafted recipes, and fresh ingredients to your door so you can spend your summer doing well whatever you want. Plus, they offer crowd-pleasing eats for your next cookout, like their Brockwurst Bar with caramelized onions. DSNA, good God. <laughs> you want me to walk you through it? DNA, D, DGNAs. Ah, damn. Say yeah. it for me. Uh, Dijonese. Dijonese. Like okay. Dijon mustard and mayonnaise kind of okay. combined, I think. Dijonese. Yeah, there okay. you go. Dijonese slaw and pineapple relish or a snack board with pretzel bites, spice bar nuts, and hot honey peach jam. So y'all, y'all go ahead and order some HelloFresh because... We've got several different kinds that Nancy and I have had, and we really enjoy them, and they're easy to fix and takes out where you don't have to spend a lot of time cooking and looking at the stuff, and they taste really good. So get your HelloFresh and carry it out for your barbecues or in, in your house just cooking. So just keep using that HelloFresh. Ready to get started for summer? Go to HelloFresh.com slash Myrtle16 and use code Myrtle16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Myrtle16 and use code Myrtle16 for 16 meals plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Perfect. You got it. Care about your grooming as much as me and Link do? Unleash your legendary style with Mythical's line of grooming and personal care products. The collection features items from the hair on your face, hair on your head, and for everything else. Available now at Amazon.com slash Mythical. So take me through the next step in the trip. I don't want to miss anything here. What? We went to and that the next uh, we went to Montreal and just to go up there for the day and just to See, how we had seen Hoda and Jenna on TV when it was real cold up there in the snow. So I said, well, we'll go up there. And uh, we parked the pickup, in a, and I thought uh, we a- even asked somebody because all the signs are in French, and I don't, I don't speak French. Oh. And we and Voulez-vous said, park, coucher? We, yeah. We we parked there. Avec Nancy, and I don't know what that avec Nancy. Uh, Just say we oui, we oui. <laughs> we oui, we oui, we. Oui, yeah yeah okay. yeah yeah yeah. There you go. Je mange les hérécovers avec Nancy. We oui, we. Oui. Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> Continue. So we went and got something to eat, and I thought, well, we. It said you could park here for at least for two hours. Well, when I come walking back towards the pickup, I could see it. There was a ticket on my windshield. Yep. And I couldn't, you know how, you know, years ago, I used, I, I'm prone to get a ticket somewhere. I used to be. Yeah. I ain't had, uh, but I got there and then where the sign was at, and then there was a sign behind it. And it was a place for the bus to pull up and pick up people. So I got a hundred and seventy-five dollar ticket for parking where I wasn't supposed to. Ooh, that hurts. So we turned around and came back to where we were staying and stayed there. But we packed up that night to get ready to leave the next morning to go to Niagara Falls. I've so, been Christy and I've been in Niagara Niagara Falls. Um we went to, there was like a YouTube conference in uh, Toronto, and then we drove down. That was a beautiful drive, driving down. So we went, we came down on the Canadian side and saw the falls, which they say is the prettier side. What was your experience like from, from the, I mean, because you went back up from um, the American side, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you, I don't think it could be any prettier Cause we were in the uh, the federal park uh-huh. that they've got a, a federal park there, and it's been redone and it's beautiful. And they, I, I, I don't see how, cause I mean, 
if you do like we did and get on the boat called the Maid of the Mist. Yes. And, and ride up the up the falls and get in the where the water is all blowing on you and everything. We is. did that too. I'm so glad you did that. Isn't it crazy? I mean, oh, man, because you're down in it, and then you feel like, oh, are we going to keep going closer? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, they go pretty close to the falls. Oh, we hey, they they drove up in them with us. I'm telling you. I mean, we. You couldn't even you couldn't even see the falls for all the mist and right. all the water coming down. And Did you find my sunglasses? Because I lost my big green sunglasses there in the water. I, I'm sorry, I didn't know you'd lost them. I, but I don't think it'd have done any good to have tried to have found them. Because man, uh, if you did, that'd have been that's... something. That really would have been something. 960 million gallons of water a minute coming over the falls. Oh, you get you got you got taught something. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it was hey. I mean, you know, it's just like uh, when you look at a picture about something, right? You you think it's pretty, but it it just does away with all of that. When you go see it in person, so I, 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 I'd recommend anybody to go to Niagara Falls. Me and too. If you don't want to go into Canada, you, you, you can. Uh, I mean, it's just as good to stay on the United States side, where if you don't have a passport to go over there or something. So it, it was beautiful, but we were walking up Lincoln, uh, going to the falls to the Maid of the Mist, and I had a Good mythical morning sweatshirt on. Uh huh. And they was Good a work. girl. We were going early, and a girl looked and she said, "I know who you are, <laughs> and I know who your son is. I what I watch your podcast and watch Good Mythical Morning. Yes. And uh, I said, "Well, I really need some help." And I said. Can you help me? Because they were doing a bunch of construction and stuff up there. And she said, uh, she told us how to get down to the Maid of the Mist. And if we'd hurry, we'd probably get on the first boat. And Lord, we, we were on the first boat that went out. And there weren't near as many people on it as we watched later on. Mm -hmm. It was packed where you couldn't even move. So we, we were really fortunate to get on that one. And we could walk around, take pictures and not as not near as many people on it. So, so you got a Myrtle Beast tour guide assistance for free. Oh yeah, that's good. For that's free. A, that's a perk right there. That's a perk. Yeah, I love right. it. What? So after that, what? Where did you go? Then I did something you had absolutely wouldn't want to do. We we left Niagara Falls at ten minutes to seven. Okay. And I and I pulled in. Siler City, North Carolina, at quarter after nine that night. Oh, gross, Dad! You drove what? How many? How many hours is that? Well, it was about fifteen hours. So we drove. I drove about thirteen hours, thirteen and a half hours. Well, how much of it did Nancy drive? None. Uh, I mean. She Even, was the one looking, like, keeping on the phone, making sure and telling me where to turn, where to go, all that. She's a navigator. Um, I mean, even if you're driving like an 18 wheeler professionally, they don't can't drive that long. They won't let you drive that long. No, ten so, hours is the max. So again, you're pushing, you're pushing your limits too. I mean, how do you feel? How do you feel driving that far? I mean, God. Oh, I was pretty tired. Well, I'm so glad that you had an amazing trip. That's awesome, you know? And uh, maybe one day you'll make it to the fabled land of Connecticut. Connecticut. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that would be amazing. You'll get there one day, Dad. Don't worry. Don't worry, Dad. You'll make it. So uh, we, we've talked about me and mine and Nancy's trip. How was your birthday? Birthday was great. Um, on 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 my birthday, we we got some barbecue, 
uh, with the family. And uh, let's see. And then the following Friday, we went out and threw axes with like a group of our friends and none of them had done it. Have you ever thrown axes recreationally? No, I, there's some places down here that's done it. I've I've seen them. Yeah, I'll give a I'll give a shout um, out to L.A. Axe. This is it's um it's down here in the valley, so it wasn't that far from us. And um, they're the ones that we, we Rhett and I throw axes on the show occasionally. So they're the ones that we work with to like hook us up with getting our own custom axes and stuff. So when we went in there, um, they taught everybody how to throw an axe, and then they like did a tournament. And who do you think won the tournament of axe throwing? My son. The birthday boy. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think many people would be surprised that I, that I was allowed to um, handle sharp objects in a public place, not, not to mention a bar. <laughs> they only let you have two drinks, though. Okay. And then because I won, I got to throw this big, like this long axe. And that was like, that, that was probably the most satisfying thing of my, of my birthday. Oh, man. I've got, I've got some footage of it. Well, that's good. You know, we can put it in the edit and you can just act like you saw it. Okay. So here it is. <laughs> and then you act like you saw it. And now, what, what's your reaction? Man, that was good, Link. I mean, that's pretty amazing. You throw that big axe. I, I understand you throwing a small one, but that that's pretty darn good. You could stick that big one in there too. Yeah, yeah you can say that again, Dad. And you can only say that because you saw the footage, right? That's right. Exactly yep. right. We would never lie to our viewers and our listeners. Myrtle Beasts, we're always forthright with you. But... I mean, it, it it was that, and then it was Lincoln's graduation. You know, yesterday that, um, as of the recording of this, it was just I'm I'm fresh off the heels of celebrating his graduation, getting his diploma. at At his high school, there were 630 graduating seniors, 630 names going across that stage. And they didn't even Man. start calling names until an hour into the proceedings. Like, oh, yeah. you know, everybody had to give their speech and, you know, all this type of stuff. But I'm, su you know, super proud of him. Uh, he's, he's a good boy. And he, he was so excited. And he earned it. Oh, yeah. But there's this one thing about the ceremony that really stuck in my crawl. We got there, the thing started at 5.30, because there's so many people. We got there right, when, the gates opened at 4 o'clock. We got there at 4 o'clock. We waited in line before the gate opened, and then we went in there so that we could get good seats so we'd have a vantage point. We were like three rows back behind the graduates, so we'd have a nice vantage point of stage. We were right there on the aisle, so even if there's, because it's flat on the football field, if there was anybody blocking like we could kind of look through the down the aisle and see him graduating. And then when it finally got to the point where they started calling out uh, everybody's names and giving them their diplomas, I people started walking up this the aisle to my right. Like where people would, you know, and then more parents, more parents with their phones. And the I would say it was like an eight foot wide aisle. And then it just became full of standing parents with, um, with their phones, like holding it above their head, try, yeah. trying, to uh, trying to video and photograph the whole thing. Now, I looked in the program, and there was a QR code. And it said, you scan this QR code, and you'll have access to the professional photos that are being taken of your graduate like as they're going on stage. And everybody has this program. You're given the program when you come in. Mm -hmm. And I don't, it's like, it's, they're all standing there blocking the view of everybody who waited for 
an hour and a half to even get in there and get a good seat. And let me tell you this, a lot of people were getting upset. And it dawned on me, oh, now that's, this is what this is, this is going to be for me. This is going to be me watching people get upset because I'm not going to be the one this time who gets upset. Because typically, I'm the one who would be like, oh, my blood is, my blood was boiling, but I'm happy to report that it didn't, it did not, I was not the one who exploded. But I, just some other people did. Sit out, take a knee, get out. You didn't, you didn't, we waited to get a good seat. You didn't, I mean, it's like, uh, rightfully so. Parents are waiting. This is the culmination of of their child's, uh, like, everything they've invested to this point, you know? And then you get there early because it matters to you, and it's blocked by these people who are just coming up. There's no, where's your, there's no class. There's no, uh, there's no, it's so inconsiderate. And it, do, and it, for what? For what? A really shitty extremely far video or photo of 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 nothing i could see what was on the screens and it was and all they had to all they had to do was download that thing exactly where they could see it good. and yeah and they would get and if you ask them to hey take a knee or what go back to your seat they would turn and they were angry these people were angry it was like this is one guy was like, this is my sister graduating. I was like, uh, uh, okay, this is my son graduating. You know, it's like, it's just these, the amount of people who just didn't, what, I, I don't understand it, Dad. If this is a big moment, what, I, I just don't know what they're thinking. This is a big moment. Therefore, I have to capture it. My role as a parent or, a, or like a guardian or whatever is to capture this moment in the shittiest way possible because I'm in no way qualified or close enough to actually get a pitch in a in a compelling way. But that does that that doesn't enter their minds. Yeah. This is a milestone moment, so my job is to capture it on a camera. But then they're not even watching it that whole cliche of like are you at the concert or are you tr- documenting the concert you know it's it's disturbing to me that people just don't take a beat and think about how pointless what they're doing is and then it and that's not even consider the other people that you're 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 blocking even their view of it oh, so yeah. that you can get a shot that you will never get anything out of. It's it's ridiculous, and it was, and it made everybody so mad. Oh yeah. And then it was just like there were people in tears, Dad, because they couldn't mm. see. I mean, it was like. So what was in it? Like I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna six hundred and thirty people. This is gonna take a long time. What this is gonna be boring became exciting until it became frustrating and sad. And it's just, I, you know, it just really made me down on humanity. It really did. It really did. You shouldn't, the, it was like, well, the people should have planned better and they should have come in and they shouldn't allow this to happen. Well, it's like, you know, people need to just do better. People need to do better, and they need to be smarter. Engage your brain and be considerate. Damn it. I saw Lincoln go across the stage, but I almost didn't. Christy, Christy saw him go across the stage, but then you, then you walk down the middle of the stage, and like she couldn't see that. And there were people behind us who were trying to, trying to get a photo from their seat, and then it which is still pointless, but I heard them talking and they were like, well, the moment I took the picture, somebody stood up with a balloon in front of me. There's people walking down to the front with balloons and their phone. Like, I got balloons, like three balloons above my head and a phone. 
And I and I've I've walked up here passing hundreds of people, not thinking at all about the impact I'm having on them. It was just, it was just, it was sad, Dad. It was sad. And I just needed to get it out. Well, we we might ought to leave this alone now because there's some of them people watch. Uh, good mythical morning. They probably ain't gonna be watching you after you ranting and raving. Like that. You know what? <laughs> screw, screw you, you inconsiderate, <laughs> thoughtless. <laughs> like I'm, like I hope your kid graduates and does better than you, and doesn't. That's that's my message. And don't watch Learn. me anymore. <laughs> How's that, Dad? Okay. I'm so proud of my son, though. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's the main thing. That he and he was handsome in his cap and gown. Uh, Christy sent us a picture of it. And- uh, again, I've been so. I'm just so. I'm so flustered right now. <laughs> I've got my. I've worked myself into a tizzy. <laughs> oh man, I need. I need to breathe. All right, Link. You know what? You just breathe and come on back down and get calm again. Thank you, Dad. And just think about the good things about Link, Lincoln graduating, and we're going to finish this episode. And all you all you lit dis, dispatching people... <laughs> Myrtle Beast. Myr, Myrtle Beast. Yeah. Come, on da- come on back in two weeks and see our another episode. And I hope you enjoyed in this, this one where... We just kind of went random this week and talked about all the stuff we'd been doing. And mm-hmm. so come on back and see us. And uh, if you got a question for us, just send it in to rather be shagging 53 at AOL.com. So uh, I'm glad we got to spend this time together, Link. And I missed you. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yep. Love you. Love you too. <laughs>